Start a mess, start a mess, start a crime. Three comics, twist are hella sick, hella wacky nicks. Take a bad hits, take a bad hits, start a mess. A subscribe God, you guys suck. Why do you suck so bad? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Hot Toys figure review on the Hot Toys Avengers Age of Ultron Movie Masterpiece 28716 Scale Deluxe Collectible Figure Set. This is not my figure. I have to give a big thanks to Comic and Figure Addicts for making this review possible. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area or on Facebook, check them out. Link is below. Now, I don't really want this figure because I already have a Hot Toys Hulk and this does look cool, but so far from what I've seen, it doesn't look cooler than the Hulk I already have. Anyway, with the packaging, uh, you get this embossed A right over here. You get the silver foil of Avengers Age of Ultron. And on the side, you get the same silver foil of the Hulk written right over there. And on the back, there's not much going on besides some warning stuff. Now on the other side, you get the Hulk fist bump. And then on the top, you get the Hulk and everything written right up there. Then on the bottom, not much more going on. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here is the brand new Hulk figure out of the packaging. Now, there are two versions of this Hulk. You can get this deluxe version right over here where it has this new upper torso, which is not articulated aside from the head over there. Or you can get the version that's basically the same thing as the first Avengers Hulk figure, but it does have a different paint job. So, and the different pants too. I can't forget these stretchy pants right over here. So I'm trying to get a turnaround of this massive piece, which I think looks pretty cool, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I mean, to get this version, it costs $100 extra. So if you already have a Hot Toys Hulk, I don't see why you'd want to drop, you know, almost $400 just to get this new upper torso, unless you just really want to have a complete Age of Ultron setup going on with your Avengers characters. But anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. Now, like with all Hot Toys figures, I highly recommend you read the instructions before you start tampering with the figure and interchanging the parts. You can see the interchangeable torsos right over there. And as you look right there, that's all the accessories that come with this piece. You get the regular version right down there, and then there's the new piece that we just saw, and then you get the interchangeable hands. Now I think the proportions on this new head sculpt are very good. It's just kind of tricky to see because he's always kind of looking down. I wish they added some kind of neck articulation to this piece. This upper torso right here is very solid. Not too heavy, but yeah, it's not rubbery or anything like that. It's just a solid piece. Now I really have mixed feelings about this head sculpt. I don't know. I just feel like the hair is too big on this thing. I do like the line work and the sculpt of it for the most part, especially on the face. I like that you can see his eyes a lot more so than on the first head sculpt. The teeth look really good. I like how you can see the detail on the inside of the mouth. The eyes look really good too. I like the eyebrows and everything. I think the facial expression looks really good. The paint looks fantastic. It's just the hair. I think the hair is just way too big on this guy. I already thought the hair was big on the first head sculpt, but yeah, you can see, you know, on this one right here. Yeah, it's much bigger. Now both of these still have the whole eye movement system going on right in here, so you could adjust these and make them look around. So if you want your, you know, weird googly eyed looking Hulk right there, you can see the eye moving around. So that's really, really cool that you could do that. Hey! And then here's the other head sculpt that we get that goes on to the normal body. Of course you can interchange these any way you want, and it is the same exact head sculpt that we got from the first Avengers movie Hulk. So you can see the two of them side by side right here. I think the paint was really well executed. I like how you could see all the veins right over here. I think it looks really good. This has the same eye movement system as we'd gotten before, so you could see that right in there. But yeah, I just like the color green on the first Hulk figure just so much more. I mean, if there was a real human being that was going to turn green, I'd assume it would look more like this. But you know, it's the Hulk. I just want my bright green color. I like this one a lot. Then seeing the original head sculpt on this new upper torso looks really good. I think it fits in very nicely. Now one gripe of mine about this upper torso is I really thought the arms were going to be thrown back a little bit more than this. I thought the fists were going to be further behind his head. I mean, they already are, but I was expecting, you know, the elbow to be somewhere like over here. You know, I really thought the arms were going to be thrown back more than this. But I think the musculature looks really good. Again, I really like the paint on this. You could say it almost looks out of proportion though. I don't know what it is, but you know, sometimes I think the legs look kind of tiny compared to, I don't know, but it's the Hulk. So I can't really consider that a complaint of mine. You know what I mean? I want the Hulk's upper body to be gigantic. But anyway, looking at the chest hair and everything, it does look a little bit more abundant than I think it should be, or just might be me seeing it on a new sculpt. Anyway, you can see the nips right over there. I just love how you can see layers right there in the paint. So even though I'm not a huge fan of this figure, I really, really appreciate the paint on this thing. I do think it looks really cool. 
I mean, it's just this huge Hulk figure. It's really nice. And coming around here, looking at the arms, you know, just looks really, really good. And the back muscle on this thing. You know, aside from me not really liking the tone so much, I still think it's very impressive. Get a little bit of brown right around here, and you definitely could see all those bright green veins popping through. Wow. Yeah, so I have to appreciate this even though I'm not the biggest fan of it. You know, it is very impressive regardless. Now to show off switching out the torsos, you just pop it off like that, and we could put on the older looking torso right there. Yeah. So now whether you want to have the pants tucked in or not, that's totally up to you. Uh, when I got this out and I first opened it anyway, it was tucked in right there, so it made me feel like it was supposed to be like that. But then when I go back and see product images, it looks like it's actually pulled out. So whichever way you want it displayed, it's up to you. And then adding the brand new head sculpt to the older body mold, it looks really good. I do think it fits in well, just the hair just looks too big. It's just got that Ferrigno look to it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you can disagree with me, let me know what you think in the comments below. And then I wanted to get a shot of both Hulk figures side by side over here. I just really like this one so much more. And then looking down here at the pants, I just really like these tattered pants so much more. I appreciate the stretchy pants, but I mean really, this is just the Hulk I'm more familiar with and I just like how that looks. Now after removing the torso for a second to readjust the pants, this does look better, so even though it came out of the packaging with that tucked in, I think it looks better with the band on the outside, which is how it does look in the promo shots. Anyway, you get these little buttons right over here, which I'm not very excited about, and he is supposed to have an Avengers logo on his pants somewhere, but that is not shown anywhere on the figure. The color variation on this looks pretty good though. It does have more of a grayish color right here, and then it turns a little bit more purplish right over there, so I like that subtle attention to detail. And then looking on the back, I mean, you get more of these little buttons, and the figure does not come with any interchangeable buttons in case you drop one of these or they come off, which I don't think is going to happen. I don't really see that happening. Looking right here on the back, you can see we get a different little pattern right there on the back of the knees. Then you just got this black cloth right over there. So I like how it's nice and stretchy and stuff. And it does have a little bit of a white elastic thing going on underneath right there, which creeps up once in a while, but it's easy to readjust. There's looking at the Hulk calves, which are meaty as they should be. And then, yeah, oh man, look at the Hulk toes. Art. That's art right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Love those Hulk toes. I guess so. so. Then to get a quick close look at the repainted torso that we get with this figure, it does look really nice. I love seeing all those veins right in there. The chest hair looks really good still. So the paintwork on this is just phenomenal all the way through. <laughs> Now articulating this new torso, it does move forward and back some, and you can get some pivot here, but it's very subtle, and you can turn it side to side, of course. So the pivot on this is pretty weak, but you do get more forward and back movement here than I thought I could get. Now just like the first Avengers version, this guy is standing at about 19 inches tall. And then with the new torso on this figure, measuring up to that left fist, which is the highest point, he's just at about 22 inches. And then here we have a side by side with the first Avengers Hulk and then the new Hulk with the new Hulk torso. And here's the first Avengers Hulk figure standing next to the Age of Ultron Hulk figure. And you can see they stand at the same height. And then here's the Age of Ultron Hulk compared to the other Age of Ultron Hot Toys figures that I have right here. You can see him next to Mark 43, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. And man, this thing is huge. Then here's our Hot Toys Age of Ultron Hulk compared to a bunch of different Age of Ultron Hulks. We have the Kotobukiya Artifacts statue, we also have the Marvel Select, we have the SH Figure Arts, and we have the Marvel Legend version over there. They all have a slightly different color green and I think that's just due to the change of the color during production of the film because they tend to send samples to these companies while the film is in production and I think that they had changed the color. Joss Whedon said something about wanting to have a gray Hulk while he was possessed so they didn't end up up doing that and I think that's why we have so many weird colors right here for the Hulk. And then here's a new Hulk figure next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, 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 no, I know how this is going to turn out. Hulk smash, I get it. I got this. Oh. So if I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, I actually like this figure a little bit more so than I did at the beginning of this review, mostly because of the stop motion segment. The figure wasn't as difficult to play around with and interchange the parts as I thought it was going to be. Now if you do bend this torso piece back too far, it will pop out. And I don't really like the green color so much, so I still am not sold personally on getting this figure, especially because I already have the first Avengers Hulk. But I can understand why a lot of people really like this piece. It's definitely not bad. Anyway, I hope you guys like my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're over the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is always much appreciated. And all you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Later. Bye.
face. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures. That's crispy. So, 